Hello there, Andy here again. Now, uh, you might have seen some of the reviews that we have on our website uh, on home study piano courses. Now, you might have read the reviews and you might even have been to the sales pages uh, of, the, uh, of some of the products. You will get to the end of the sales page and you'll wonder, well, what is exactly in the box? What is it that, that these people are offering? So what we're going to try and do here is to show you as much as we can what's inside without offending the authors. So um, here we go. The product that we're going to look at today is Piano for All, uh, which is reviewed on our website here on beginnerspiano.net. Now, we'll go for the, to the Piano for All site and you'll see the sales page here. Get to the end of the sales page and uh, We'll click on the ordering options and you'll see that you can buy the books individually or download the whole package. Don't even think about downloading them individually. $29.95 for one book or $39.95 for all 11 books. So uh, just, just go for the, for the uh, $39.95. You press the buy now button and you get taken to the Clickbank secure order form. Uh, safe, very safe order form reputable company, um, pay now, and then you get sent straight away down to a download page. Now, the download page you'll get taken to is one which will look like this. This is the Piano for All download page, um, and you'll see you can download the books individually, or you can download the whole packet. So once you've downloaded the files onto your hard disk, um, You'll have downloaded them into a folder on your hard drive. Here's the one I downloaded mine into. There we go. So let's go ahead and open book one and take a look inside. And here we are. Party time. Rhythm style piano. Now, this book will take us from the absolute basics um, through to a well, fairly intermediate level, really. First thing it teaches you is uh, how to find the notes on the keyboard. Then it goes on to teach you some uh, some basic uh, some basic chords. There you go. And then it talks a little bit about uh, musical notation, how to read music. As you go along, you get taught uh, different rhythms, some more chords, and uh, throughout all of the books. Um, there are some practice sessions. Now, these are putting into practice the chords and the rhythms that you've uh, that you've been learning in that particular part of the book. So you may have noticed that throughout the book you get these little speaker icons appearing. Now this indicates that there's an audio file with an example of what's uh, how to play that particular exercise. Um, for example, we can click on this one, and here we've got a, a little a little audio example of how these chords should be played and the rhythm that they're, they're supposed to be played in. There's also video icons scattered throughout. Let's see if we can find one here. There we are. So uh, this is uh, basically the same but it's a video version. You click on this and you get your video. So that's all I'm going to show you for, for this first book. If I show you any more, then uh, I think the author will be a bit upset with me. Let's go and have a look at the rest of the books. Okay, um, let's view the books a little bit differently here. Okay, that was book one that we've just had a look at. Let's take a look at book two. Blues and rock and roll. Uh, right, here teaches you some basic blues and rock and roll uh, chord sequences and riffs, how to play them. Uh, gives you lots of examples of songs to play and lots of uh, little blues, uh, basic blues and rock riffs, very useful to learn. Chord Magic, uh, this is book three. Uh, now right at the start of this book you get taught the remaining chords. 
um, basically you're, you're taught the 24 major and minor chords the basic chords that are used you're taught some techniques for remembering these chords you get taught how to play in inversions and there's lots of uh, there's lots of practice sessions on, on how to play the different chord progressions advanced chords now this is where it starts to get juicy um, we learn diminished, augmented chords, sevenths, ninths, uh, lots and lots of practice, lots and lots of uh, chord progression practices. Uh, we get taught inversions, how to uh, spread your chords out across the keys, uh, more professional way of going from one chord to another without it sounding uh, amateurish. At the end of this book, you, you really start uh, bringing things together. This is when, when you really start appearing like a professional piano player. Book 5, Ballad Style, just as it says, ballads. Uh, teaches you split chord methods, teaches you how to improvise a ballad uh, under a melody. Very useful that is. Um, very beautiful some of these ballads. Easy to play, very effective. Jazz Piano Made Easy. Now this is just amazing. This teaches you some basic jazz licks, some basic jazz riffs, which you can play and uh, very easy to learn. And they're just so effective. They just sound so good. It sounds like you've been playing the piano for years. Um, I love this book. Lots of little in, in, uh, exercises here, lots of riffs, a few new chords and lots of practice sessions. Uh, it goes through the, the, lots of jazz standards as well in here. Book seven, I think, yeah, book seven, advanced blues. Some advanced blues riffs, lots of practice, lots of um, lots of chord sequences. Um, it's just a little bit more advanced now. Taming the classics. Now this is interesting. Uh, the first half of this book is dedicated to uh, perfecting your your ability to read music. So you were taught basically how to read music in the first book it continues on from there. It gives you a little bit more theory, a little bit more music theory. About half of the book is about reading music. Now the second half of the book has got um, some of the standard classics and the standard beginners classics which actually sound quite effective. Um, it gives you tips for how to practice, how to play them, it talks about learning one hand and then the other hand and how to put them together. Uh, great. At the end of this book you're playing pieces by Bach, Chopin, Beethoven, Brahms, uh, Satie. Some really nice pieces, quite easy to play, and it helps you with your reading as well. Speed Learning. Now, this is a very useful book. It's probably the most useful book of the lot. It's got lots of techniques for learning, memory tricks so that you can remember uh, the scales, the different chords, some fingering patterns, uh, it's got lots of workouts for, for different chords and for strengthening your fingers. It's just a basic reference book, really. It's uh, got some blues practice in there as well. A really complete uh, book. I find this a really useful book to learn from. The last book, the Bumper Resource book, is just what it says. It's uh, a book of resources. It's got book reviews, websites... Um, it tells you all about electronic pianos, keyboards, how to connect your keyboard to your computer, MIDI software, uh, recording software, just a complete book of anything you need to know about piano and keyboards and piano playing, you can find it in there, quite a full book. And finally the bonus, uh, increase your creative ability. I'm not going to go into that, it's just, uh, well it's a good book, it's a good read. Um, but it's a bonus. I'll leave you to discover that for yourself. So that is what we have inside the box of Piano for All. I hope, uh, I hope this has been useful to you. I hope it helps you in, in finding out what, what's inside. Uh, I always find it useful to, to know what, what I'm buying before I actually uh, make my payment. So there you have it. I hope it's been of use. Thanks for watching. See you next time.